Hello friends, in this video we are going to find a new term, new concept that is correction factor and start with kinetic energy correction factor. So let's move on to video. As its name indicate, correction factor means that factor which is used to correct the term. So that term may be kinetic energy or momentum. Accordingly, it is named as momentum correction factor and kinetic energy correction factor. In practical scenario, it is obvious that whatever are the theoretical results are not matching with actual results. So generally, we find actual results and correct them to get real ideas of theoretical results so that we should not have any errors in our calculations. So for that purpose, we will find a new term that is correction factor. Correction factor is that factor which when multiplied with measured or practical values gives us actual values or theoretical values. So we will start with first type of correction factor and that is kinetic energy correction factor. So logically it is very clear that it is that factor which is used for getting actual values of kinetic energy when we have measured some kinetic energy values practically. So kinetic energy correction factor can be defined as ratio of kinetic energy defined as ratio of kinetic energy of flow per second based on actual velocity I am underlining the part actual velocity across a section means in this case we have find the numerical value as kinetic energy based on actual velocity actual velocity is whatever is the measured quantity across a section with kinetic energy of flow per second based on average velocity so average velocity is that value of velocity which is actually measured across a section it is denoted by letter alpha hence we can write down a formula for alpha as k per second based on actual velocity these are the real values of velocities which are not practically known to us we basically practically know the practical value or average velocity so ke per second based on average velocity so in our case what will be the values of alpha that is kinetic energy correction factor will be fine let us consider say for example this is the pipe having circular cross section it is shown in figure like this having two elements a cylindrical shape of two different radius internal one is dr interval is r and thickness is say dr so these are the two values of any element which is subjected to flow in this direction so we are interested in finding kinetic energy values theoretically as well as practically. So, kinetic energy of fluid 
through elementary ring of thickness dr and radius r is one half mv square so here mass into velocity of flow at that level is u so u square this mass per second is calculated as one half into rho into this dq small discharge flowing through that particular ring section into this u square now this dq can be simplified as we all know discharge is equal to q equal to av that is area into velocity so we will find area of cross section multiplied by velocity so one half into rho into velocity is u and area is 2 pi r into dr a perimeter multiplied by thickness as it is a very small element we can consider a rough area as 2 pi r into dr and again u square term this u square term remaining as it is so it becomes one half rho into 2 pi r u cube into dr so this 2 2 gets cancelled so pi rho r u cube dr this is the basic relation for kinetic energy for small elements so total kinetic energy will be integral of given equation so integration from 0 to radius capital R here in the diagram this total radius is capital R so 0 to R into pi rho r u cube dr 0 to r the constant terms are pi rho r and u value that is velocity value is having basic relation as 1 upon 4 mu minus daba p by daba x capital r square minus small r square and this whole square bracket cube into dr so again constant can be taken outside as pi rho 1 upon 4 mu minus daba p by daba x here we are going to consider integral 0 to r r square minus r square bracket cube r dr so pi rho into this 1 by 4 daba rho upon daba x this cube so taking constant outside the bracket we can have 1 upon 64 mu cube in another bracket daba p by daba x cube into integral 0 to r this cubical expansion will be finally written as r raised to 6 minus small r raised to 6 minus 3 r raised to 4 into r square plus 3 r raised to 6 into r raised to 4 this bracket into r dr so that is equal to pi rho upon 64 mu cube minus 
डाबा पी बाय डाबा एक्स ब्रैकेट क्यू अगेन इंटीग्रल इंटीग्रल वैल्यू कैन बी डिरेक्टली रिटर्न एच दिस आर एस टू सिक्स इन टू आर विल बिकम दिस आर इज मल्टीप्लाइड टू आर एस टू सिक्स सो दैट विल बिकम आर एस टू सिक्स आर स्क्वायर अपॉन टू सो आर एस टू सिक्स आर स्क्वायर अपॉन टू माइनस आर एस टू एट अपॉन एट माइनस थ्री आर एस टू फोर आर क्यूब विल बिकम आर एस टू फोर अपॉन फोर प्लस थ्री आर स्क्वायर इंटू स्मॉल आर एस टू सिक्स अपॉन सिक्स दीज यूनिट्स आर रेंजिंग फ्रॉम जीरो टू कैपिटल आर सो दैट विल अगेन बिकम पाय रो अपॉन सिक्सटी फोर म्यू क्यूब माइनस डैबा पी बाय डैबा एक्स ब्रैकेट क्यूब कैपिटल आर रेस टू एट अपॉन टू माइनस आर एस टू एट अपॉन एट माइनस थ्री आर रेस टू एट अपॉन फोर प्लस थ्री आर रेस टू सिक्स अपॉन सिक्स सो टेकिंग आर एस टू एट एज कॉमन थिंग आउटसाइड द ब्रैकेट वी विल हैव वैल्यू एज पाय रो अपॉन सिक्सटी फोर म्यू क्यूब माइनस डेबा पी बाय डेबा एक्स ब्रैकेट क्यूब इंटू आर एस टू एट दिस ट्वेल्व माइनस थ्री माइनस एटीन प्लस ट्वेल्व अपॉन दिस कॉमन टर्म एम सी एम एस ट्वेंटी फोर सो पाय रो अपॉन सिक्सटी फोर म्यू क्यूब माइनस डेबा पी बाय डेबा एक्स ब्रैकेट क्यूब इंटू दिस आर एस टू एट अपॉन एट नाउ वी आर इंटरेस्टेड इन कैलकुलेशन ऑफ कैनेटिक एनर्जी बेस्ड ऑन एवरेज वेलोसिटी सो कैनेटिक एनर्जी पर सेकेंड बेस्ड ऑन एवरेज वेलोसिटी कैन बी कंसिडर्ड एज वन हाफ इंटू मास इंटू दिस यू बार स्क्वायर सो मास कैन बी अगेन कैलकुलेटेड एज वन हाफ रो इंटू ए इंटू यू बार रो ए यू दैट इज नथिंग बट द क्यू इक्वल टू ए वी into this u square so that is equal to 1 half rho a u bar cube area we all know area is nothing but the value as pi r square so u bar is 1 upon 8 mu minus डेबा पी बाय डेबा एक्स इंटू आर स्क्वेर सो दीज टू वैल्यूज दैट इज एरिया वैल्यू एंड यू बार वैल्यू इज नोन टू अस सो बाय कंसिडरिंग दीज टू वैल्यूज दिस के पर सेकेंड विल बिकम सो के पर सेकेंड कैन बी रिटर्न एज इक्वल टू वन हाफ रो इंटू पाय आर स्क्वेर इंटू इन स्क्वेर ब्रैकेट वन अपॉन एट म्यू माइनस डैबा पी बाय डैबा एक्स इंटू आर स्क्वेर अगेन हैविंग क्यूब ऑफ द स्क्वेर ब्रैकेट सो वी विल सिंप्लीफाई इट बाय कंसिडरिंग कॉमन टर्म्स आउटसाइड द ब्रैकेट सो इट इज वन हाफ इंटू रो इंटू पाई आर स्क्वेर इंटू सो कॉन्स्टेंट आउटसाइड द ब्रैकेट बिकम्स इंटू वन अपॉन एट इंटू एट सिक्सटी फोर सिक्सटी फोर इंटू अगेन एट इंटू दिस म्यू क्यूब इन ब्रैकेट माइनस डेबा पी बाय डेबा एक्स दिस ब्रैकेट क्यूब इंटू दिस आर टू द पावर सिक्स वी कैन सिंप्लीफाई इट बाय अ कॉमन टर्म पी 
pi rho pi upon 128 into 8 u cube minus dab p by dab i x cube into capital R to the power 8. So we can calculate now value of alpha that is k based on actual velocity to the k based on average velocity which can be further written as given equation this is equation 2 and this is equation 1 so ratio of equation 1 to ratio of equation 2 by just cancelling common terms we can have the ratio as pi rho upon 64 mu cube minus dabba p by dabba x bracket cube r raised to 8 upon 8 this is the numerator denominator is pi rho upon 128 into mu cube 8 mu cube minus dabba p by dabba x cube into r to the power 8 so that is equal to 128 into 8 upon 64 into 8 all the terms are get cancelled this is get cancelled this is get cancelled pi rho pi rho cancelled this mu cube mu cube get cancelled so 128 into 8 divided by 64 this 128 into this 8 this 8 and this 64 will come as 128 into 8 upon 64 into 8 this again 8 8 get cancelled so 128 64 into 2 so this is 2 so the value of alpha that is kinetic energy correction factor is 2 it means that if we have calculated kinetic energy practically then we have to we are able to find the value scientifically what should be the value by just considering the value of alpha as 2. That's all. Thank you.